Here are our supplies to paint our simple snowman. We have the plaid folk art colors of wicker white, fresh foliage, burnt umber, pure orange, cardinal red, and deep ocean blue. And uh, the brushes I use are the three quarter inch scruffy. These are the Donna Dewberry one stroke by plaid. The number six flat, a liner brush, and this stylus that comes in a multi-pack that I will include a link for. And there you have it. Let's get painting our snowman. I'm gonna go ahead and just pounce in a really quick snowman. Give him a little head, nice round body. Give him just a touch of shading. I just want it on one side to give him a little dimension. Got a little too much black in there, so I'll just tap the white. And it just blends it in. Okay, so we will let him dry so we can continue on. Well, you know what? I don't need to let him dry. So I'm going to clean up my scruffy here. And I'm going to do his little eyes. And I'm going to do this with the stylus. And let's see, which where's my stylus? The one, okay. Here's a stylus. Now the, the styluses I, I link to have several sizes in the package. You pick the one that you want to use. This one's a pretty good size. I'd say that's an eighth of an inch around. And I'm just dipping it in the black, tapping it off a little bit to see what kind of size I'm doing. And I just kind of guesstimate where I want them eyes. I try to keep them around. I got that one a little oblong, but that's okay. I'm in a hurry. So to do, I'll fix that later and I'll show you how I fix that so it's rounder. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and do his heart buttons. The same stylus, dipping in the cardinal red on my palette the same way I did the black. Kind of tap it off. If I wanna see how much paint I got going there. Now I do want a good amount of paint on my, like, that's pretty much centered. I'm not perfect but it will do. I'm making these on the large side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm doing two dots and then I'm just dragging it to a point. There. And I make a heart. And then I'll do the same down here. Get enough paint. Like I said, you can make these smaller if you wish. You just do a smaller dot and drag it down. And that's got to be the funkiest heart ever. But there. And that is how you do the little heart buttons. And so we'll go on and we'll give him, you know, I put little rosy cheeks on my one down here. So I'll show you how I do that. I do that with a small scruffy. I have a tiny bit of baby pink on my palette. And I'm kind of tapping it out in the white puddle so it kind of blends it with the white. And then I'm just kind of faintly giving it a bit of rosiness on the cheeks. Just barely there. So there he has his cheeks. And then we're going to go in and do his arms. This one is the burnt umber. Let me get some on my palette here. Burnt umber, sometimes I like mixing it with a lighter tan um, to create different colorations in it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use the wicker white for ease. Um, I like the coffee latte in the multi-surface. I like the, oh, what is it? Um, huh, I can't remember the color. Butter pecan, that's it, in the regular plaid folk art. And I get make my paint a little bit inky with the liner. Here I'm using the number two liner in the Donna Dewberry package that I use frequently. These brushes. It, 
it's very so I use these brushes a lot because the various sizes come in the pack and it's just nice to have all the various sizes and they're at a very good price and they last well I've had this set three years and um, use them extensively decide which way you want your arms to go you can have them go this way like with my one snowman I had holding a coffee cup or a mug it, they went this way you can also have them go outwards you can have their little arms go out and make little branchy shapes just by doing and you can make them squiggly you can do lots of little branches or you can keep it like it's a hand up there with his branch now you notice I'm not starting right on the outside I'm kind of bringing them in a bit now so I'm at an odd angle so that I got his kind of wide but sticks are not all super skinny and you just drag out some little branches and there you have his little arms. Now on this one, I'll show you how you can bring him inwards. This little snowman. Same, I've got him lining it, lining it. I'm filling my liner brush with the burnt umber and I've got it in the white too, so I have both colors. And I'm just gonna bring his little branch arms inwards. And do the same little lines for his little hands. We're all good. There he has his hands. Now we'll go ahead and we'll do this snowman's little mouth. And same stylus. And we're just going to dot it. Just little dots. You see there's this, his little cheeks. And we're just going to put the little dots right there. Now we want them to be a little cheerier, so we'll give it a little more tilt up. And there is his mouth. Now I'm going to go back to this snowman because his eyes are dry. His are still wet, and I want to do the carrot nose, but I don't want to drag black into my paint color, my orange. So I'm going to use the pure orange for the carrot nose. And I can use the, oh, I got paint weird on my hand. I will use the liner, and I will just load it with the pure orange in there. And then I'll just decide which way I want it to go. It can go this way, this way, straight out, straight down. I think I want his to be kind of going outward. So I'm going to not start center. I'm going to kind of go this direction where it's a little bit closer to that eye. And then I'm just going to drag it up to a point. It may go over the eye a little bit. And that's why I didn't want uh, to do it when the paint was wet. So give it. There you go. And if you wanted to give it a little bit of um, shadowing underneath, just take your brush, your liner, it still has the orange in it, and dip it in the burnt umber. Kind of work it through so it's not too dark. It's blended in with the orange. And then just kind of come up from underneath and lightly shadow it. And if you want to give it a little more roundness at the back, just kind of do that. And then rinse out your brush, dry it on your towel a little bit, and then go into the wicker white. And you're going to add just a tiny highlight right on top. Not very visible. Nope, I don't want it that thick. Now, if you want to add more of a highlight, wait till it dries and you'll be good to go. I think his eyes are a little too far apart, and so his would be too, but it's all going to come out in the wash. And it's just there's variety in all of them. So now I'm going to do his scarf. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the blue. This is the deep ocean blue that I used um, 
on the background. No, you know what? I want the, the fresh foliage. I want them to have a green because I think the green would be really pretty with the, the red heart buttons. So sorry for the switch. I'm always switching around when I'm painting, deciding in the moment. So I have my, this is, which one? This is the number six flat Donna Dewberry. And I'm just going to load it with the fresh foliage. And I'm just going to remember he's not, you don't want to go flat across. You just want to give it a little bit of a dip. Give him a nice pretty scarf there. And you're going to have it come like this because there's a fold in it. And it's going to come from the top, which will probably I'll do with another color. You know, I actually want to go this way. And then I'm going to have it come down. Or as a fold and come down. Now when I add another color there, that wheel will show up. Um, for shadowing and highlighting. So we're going to let that dry just a little bit so I don't get it muddy. But while that's drying, I can bring in my liner, get it a little bit wet so that I can make the paint nice and inky and get a great point, sharp point on here. And you can just add some little fringe on his scarf. Now you decide if you want a hat or not. On my um, Paint a Simple Snowman base tutorial, I have a top hat on my snowman. And you notice on this one, he has an upside down bucket. And on one of my other snowman tutorials, I also have an upside down bucket. So we could do that on this fun little snowman, or we could leave him hatless or let's go with the earmuffs perfect uh, the earmuffs are super easy I'm going to use the scruffy brush again make sure it's good and dry because I used it and washed it and you do not want to use a scruffy brush with this wet it just doesn't work right so we're going to give them some earmuffs and these are super easy to do so I'm going to load my scruffy with the fresh foliage and I'm just going to give him a little round earmuff right there and then a little round earmuff right here. Now it kind of encroaches a little bit on his face and there set aside that brush and take your liner load it with the green and then you just attach the earmuffs together. You decide if it needs to be a little bigger or not. That one a little rounder, this one a little bit rounder. Make them distinctive. And there you have your earmuffs. Now to shadow this scarf, I'm going to go use some thicket. Now I didn't have thicket listed. I was not thinking of what colors I was going to do the scarf. but. I'm going to take Thicket because it's a dark green and I'm going to load it in to my one, uh, the six flat. Now that's, it's not completely dry. Best results, I would wait till it was completely dry, but I want to get this lesson done for you. And I've loaded it with green and then I'm going to side load, you can see over here, just a touch of the Thicket and rub it back and forth so it kind of blends and you can see how it's leaving a little bit of a shadow color there and I'm going to come around the bottom here and I'm going to go along and I'm going to lay that shadow color along the bottom edge of my scarf. I'll reload, blend it in, make sure I don't have too much. You can go along the top as well
and then I am going to this is going to have a little shadow here because that's where this knot is laying over top of the scarf and then I'm just going to come around with the thicket along the outside edge got a little too much on there work it out and follow the outside edge here so that shadow just is along there And if you wanted to, to create a round of shape, the inside should be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to load my fresh foliage green. I'm going to mix it with a tiny bit of white. And that will lighten the color just a touch. And then I'm just going to kind of add a few highlights right in here. I don't want it that thick. I want the fresh foliage to be the main color but I'm just going to add a bit of highlight. Less is more. You can always come back and add it. If you think you got a little bit too much, just go back into your fresh foliage and go over the color. My brush is a little too wet. But that is how you would fix that. Let me get this cleaned up. I kind of messed up. If you want to fix something, go back in with a clean, damp brush and just kind of pick the paint back up. Now I'll let it dry and also if you wanted to add a little shadowing to the outside of the earmuffs, I know I said this was easy and it really is but I'm adding, giving you these little details that you can add. I gotta make sure my scruffy is really um, dry. Alright I wanted to give you a heads up on how to do the detail around the earmuffs. So just side load your scruffy with a little bit of thicket and kind of pounce it off until there's barely any paint there. And then just kind of go carefully around the outside edge. Just a little bit. Give it a little depth of color there. Reload. Do the same over here. Now you can actually double load your scruffy when you're putting the earmuffs on, but I was trying to make it super simple for you. Let me show you how you do that. Okay, I've got it loaded with the light green. And I tap in a tiny bit of thicket, pounce it out a little bit, and then you just twirl your brush as you do the circle. And that gives you the color. So, there you have your very simple snowman and you can adjust his shape. Now there's our little snowman with heart buttons, earmuffs, and a scarf. And we can come down, oh, this one. I gave him oval eyes and put a little white dot in it. I need to go over the white dot again uh, because the, wet, the black was still wet and it didn't uh, make it as opaque for the white as I preferred. And I'm gonna give him a bow tie. And the way I do that is I take my number six flat brush. And I'm thinking we'll go ahead and give him the blue, a blue bow tie. And this is ocean blue or deep ocean blue, but you can use whatever color you like. It's just what I have here on my table at the moment. And I'm loading my flat brush with the blue. And I'm just going to start where I want, let me see, here's where I want the center. To be. So I'm going to take my brush from the outside, press, drag, and twist, and lift. And that creates the one side. Excuse me. Now let me change this around so I can get the other side as well. Because I'm at an angle here around the camera and I want to do this right. So now I press, make sure I'm about the same distance, press, drag, twist, and lift. And that creates the outer edges. And then I'm just going to reload my brush and just make the little square for the center. And if you want to shadow it, you just go in with some darker blue around the edges 
etc. But we're just going to leave him simple with his little blue tie. Now, bow tie. Now, if you wanted to make the outside edges a little bit fatter, you can do that and then bring it in. So it looks like a really wide bow tie. And he looks mighty dapper. So there is how you paint simple snowmen with a couple of different details. So one with a scarf and earmuffs and the other with a bow tie. Like I said before, add any hats or other decor details that you would like to add to make them unique. And Thank you for watching this simple snowman painting lesson and join us for the next video and lesson.